I assume somebody wanted to leak it to maximize the embarrassment to Barr and to set up the questions for the hearings the next two days. You know, look, the, the, the deep state in Washington has played these games for the whole history of the country. Uh, this is not something new. Mueller could at any point have decided he wanted to refute it. And as I understand the actual key sentences, uh, the distortion is by the news media. Well, that was former House Speaker Newt Gingrich on the Ingram angle last night reacting to reports that Robert Mueller wrote to Attorney General Barr saying that his summary of the special counsel's findings did not capture the substance of Mueller's report. This as we await the Attorney General's appearance before the Senate Judiciary Committee. That should be happening any moment now. Laura Ingram joins us now over the phone. Laura, we see images of William Barr leaving his home this morning en route to Capitol Hill. Uh, this is all set to begin shortly. I'm sure you've got a lot to say on this, but it's really setting up to be quite a morning. What do you expect? Sandra, the meltdown on the other cable channels last night as we were uh, broadcasting the Ingram Angle was something really for the ages. Uh, we, we have in Special Counsel Mueller someone who's worked in law enforcement, the highest levels, for decades. We have someone in Bill Barr who has worked at the highest levels of the legal profession, both as a CEO and former attorney general, uh, and so forth, for decades. Okay, Both men have enormous experience in dealing with really complex matters. But the idea that Bill Barr set about to uh, fundamentally distort and misrepresent a 448-page report that he knew would be almost in its entirety released, except for redactions that were agreed upon, the idea that he would set about to do that, to what, ruin his entire <laughs> career and, and be roundly ridiculed, uh, is, is preposterous. And so for, for this frothy frenzy on the other cables last night and in the pages of the Amazon Post, uh, I say this. Uh, focus on the two lines that make this such a, a, a relatively a non-story. When Barr pressed him whether he thought Barr's letter was inaccurate, Mueller said he did not, but felt that the media coverage of the letter was misinterpreting the investigations according to officials. Now, I know Chris Wallace, uh, at the top of your hour, was indicating that, I guess, that he kind of agrees with these other cable networks that this was a, an a, attempt by the DOJ to spin what the conversation was between Barr and Mueller. So I, I don't know if Chris Wallace has information that I don't have, uh, but that, that he's saying that, that Barr is per perpetuating uh, a lie about this conversation between him and Mueller. I mean, I think if Mueller thought that this this investigation was being distorted in its synopsis by Barr. Uh, Bob Mueller is a big boy. He could have come out and issued a very terse public statement. Well, he did not do that, Sandra. Certainly Instead, what we're hearing from you. One of the other uh, uh, members of the merry band of investigators decided to leak this, uh, this, this uh, letter right before Barr comes yeah. up to testify. Now, isn't that curious? Obviously. So if somebody well, well, who happens here, to, by the way, we'll get known we'll get, Bill Barr for decades and, and myself worked at pretty high levels in, in, in uh, the legal profession, I find the reporting on this and much of the commentary on this to be well, we'll harmful hear from William Barr and shortly. frankly very disturbing. And, and, I, and I'm, I'm watching this in real time, and, I, 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 and this is not spin, by the way. This is analysis of the current situation as it stands. By the way, we'll hear more from Brett Bayer and Chris Wallace themselves in a bit before William Barr uh, begins a short time from now. We've got everybody on deck, but meanwhile, Laura, also what is being decided now, there's going to be a vote in the House, a committee vote on whether or not the House Judiciary will uh, be allowed to have staff ask questions of William Barr at their hearing tomorrow. Should that be allowed? I mean, I don't, I don't think it really matters. I mean, I guess there was some conversation about that. I mean, I frankly, I frankly think a lot of the, the, uh, you know, the congressmen themselves uh, don't do a very good job of, of questioning. I mean, we've seen this over the years where there's this big buildup in these hearings, and then you have people who are not really used to cross-examining people or, or getting information 
flailing about for the cameras trying to get trying to get relevant information and questions asked and instead they just end up grandstanding what what the american people have to understand is that this really isn't about the quest for the truth okay this is about the 2020 election scoring political points and trying somehow to tar the reputation of a man who has has served with with dignity and the utmost ethical understanding of the American legal system well, certainly for money that decades. Democrats. And this, this is what Washington, D.C. I lived here way too long, Sandra. Yeah. This is what Washington, D.C. has become, a smear machine of good people. If you're connected to Donald Trump in any way, they not only want to smear you, they want to make sure you never work again. That's how bad it is. So people out there claiming that Barr is, is spinning or misrepresenting, we, we got to take a breath here. And, and look at this situation in its entirety, where a president was targeted early on, erroneously, by a fake dossier and a, a phony dossier funded by Hillary to begin this entire investigation. Well, People will, lose sight just of how disturbing that initial fact is. And we end up today with, you know, with all the histrionics surrounding this. Hearing. I know everybody's got a lot to say on this. Uh, and Laura, we appreciate your time this morning. You set up what is quite going to be quite a heated uh, moment on Capitol Hill just a few moments from now. Laura Ingham, thank you.